We will learn the terrifying truth about the barbaric people who will be the scourge of mankind in the future. In the 50s of 700 BC, the son of Noah was born to one of the Japheth dynasty. Iskander Zulkarnain is from God to bring justice to the world, was sent and became one of the four rulers of the earth. The clouds that Hazrat Ali said about him were subjugated to him. Any necessary power was given to him. He was assisted day and night. Allah gave Zulkarnain, who was a king and a general, the status of ruling the earth by wandering around the Maghreb Mashriq. One day the warlord came across a people in the east. These people complain that another people among the mountains are doing damage without giving them a day and say so. E. Zulkarnain, this nation is causing corruption among us. If we give you our rights, build a wall between us and save us from them. This people was a destructive nation called Kokid Mikolka Christians in Indian history and Gog Magog in the Islamic world and Gog Magog in the Islamic world. Gog Magog are unbelieving creatures. Forms are slightly different from humans. They have flat faces, small eyes, large elephant ears and short stature. This is what Zulkarnain says to this nation that is asking for help. God's favor to me is better than your wealth. You better help me. Let's keep a strong wall between them. He ordered to fill the space between the two mountains with pieces of iron. And poured molten copper over him and banished the people of Gog Magog behind this metal wall forever. According to Hadiths, they tried to break the wall every day from early morning. When they were about to go out, they stopped and said that they would continue tomorrow. And the next morning, he returned the dug places to their old condition by the power of God. Perhaps this has been going on for thousands of years. One day one of them says, That's enough. Tomorrow inshallah we will see the face of the day. For those who say the word, inshallah, for the first time, with the power of God, they will break through the wall and come out, and all the horrors will begin on that day, has been trapped inside for thousands of years. The creatures will be numerous and angry like grains of sand, each will have a thousand children. They start pouring down the hill like a flood, they eat everything in their path. Animals and people die, in the blink of an eye, the water in the lakes will be very dry. Spread to the four corners of the world and continue to wreak havoc. One day one of them says we are the ruler of the earth now it's the sky's turn and throws a spear towards the sky. As it is written in the hadiths, that spear will fall back from the sky covered in blood. Because they are arrogant and displeased with Allah, they get wounds on their necks and die in one night. And all the earth will be full of their dead, covered with an unbreathable stench. The world will become hell-like an open grave. The world you know now is gone. When and where all this happens is known only to the Creator Himself. Today, scientists have been researching for years to find the wall between these two mountains with different theories. Where is this place discussed in Hadiths? Scientists were interested in a place located in the mountainous regions of the Bostonlik district of the Tashkent region on the border of Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan. A flat land between two mountains is described in the Quran and Hadiths. It will be like a structure built by the Son of Man. A group of scientists went here and conducted research. Surprisingly, pieces of iron and pieces of ice were found here. Of course, all this is just a theory, if Ladi Maguj is really in the territory of Uzbekistan, we will inevitably be the first victims. The question I am interested in is this. Instead of destroying them, Iskander Zulkarnain hid behind a wall. I have no doubt that this is also an order of God. Because it is considered one of the greatest signs of the doomsday.